the difference between FUT and FUE and then FUE robotic, which is what we are. So FUT is follicular unit transplantation. Follicular unit transplantation. Sometimes um, known as FUSS, but typically known as FUT. Follicular, so that's the old style strip method here. So interestingly enough, 40% of all doctors are still doing, actually it's like 43% of all doctors are still taking a slice of scalp, cutting it, literally scalpeling out and then putting it under a microscope with a team of people slicing and dicing those naturally occurring hair follicles that typically consist of one, two, three, or four hairs on a follicular unit. It's either one, two, three, or four hairs. So typically these doctors will take a slice off and it leaves the scar. So this is why follicular unit extraction leaves no linear scar like that. And you can lose up to 50% of your hair without any appreciable cosmetic difference. So that's why when you do it in a very selective um, way, you'll never see from the punch method. But then with the robotic technology, it just makes it lower transection rate. And you're able to select the individual follicles, whether it be one, two, three, or four hairs. So it's just a better technology. It's, you don't have, so again, it goes from FUT, 40% of doctors are still doing it like that. Why? Why are they doing that? Even though it takes like t often a team of four or five, even six I've seen, a team doing it this minute <laughs> versus a much, our technology, our competitors, our competitor FUE, they typically take two, but you can do a full blown cases, which is, you can do huge cases with just the main person and an assistant. So faster, easier, no scar like this. This is so old school, yet 40% of the doctors still doing it like this. So that's your competition, doctor. They're doing it like this. I think you can do better than that, especially once you educate the patient. Even though what they'll say in their own defense is that they give more follicles, but that's completely not true. You know, this method, you don't get more follicles. They slice and dice it. You're not getting more follicles because it's not naturally occurring. So they're, they're spreading it out. So this is, uh, even though these doctors, a lot of doctors, they get good at this. And so it's not so egregious, but it's always a scar. You always see a scar. You have a scar, period. There's, there's no two ways about it. So there's, there's much better. You need to be aware of what your competitors are doing so you can communicate properly, okay? You have a much better technology. As I showed you in the other one, it was all about the transection, right? It was all about this. This is why we have better technology. Our technology, we're able to infer the angle of the follicle beneath the skin. You will never cut it off. You will never damage it, even stretching it out. It doesn't have to be always so cut like that, but it's damaged. There's all kinds of ways that you can uh, cause trauma to the follicle. So this is why our tech, the bio hair, bio robotic, the biobotic hair method is much less trauma, much less invasive, much higher graft viability rate, much uh, safer for the patient. So you don't have those scars and it's faster than the competitor because we have uh, dual sided machines. So you have just a lot faster you can do bigger, more robust cases in a shorter period of time, give the patient a better experience, do more procedures. You can do two eyebrow procedures a day. You can do smaller cases, a lot more of them. So yeah, this is important to understand. Um, absorb all the information, become the hair expert that you are becoming. I say, believe, believe in yourself. See yourself as an expert and be a hair expert in two years. Really be a high level hair expert. You can learn everything and be the king of the follicular king. <laughs> On the other hand, if you just want to integrate it into your practice, you can still be seen as an expert and really take pride in understanding how to really help your patient and how to communicate that to them as well. You know, for any patient, so, 
on to the next module.